Hello everyone, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. We're going to try to complete one of the simpler missions that we have here today, which is to uh, launch a vessel. Oh, I like that they have the little previews now. Let's go ahead and just delete that one and delete that one. So this is a basic suborbital exploration vehicle, so I'm just going to call it the SOEV-1. Uh, it has the prototype cockpit on here that we can unlock by completing this. Uh, it has a few science experiments. I've managed to put an antenna on it. It has maybe enough Delta V to leave the atmosphere. I am not entirely sure. We're going to do our best. Uh, I do believe I remembered. To, yeah, there's a heat shield under there. So uh, it's going to be kind of awkward coming back. I definitely need to figure out how to put a parachute on this thing. Because it is not landing on its own here. Um, why is this sticking in such a funky way? There we go. That's probably like protected enough. That'll be the final stage. Just want to double check my staging here. Everything looks correct. So let's go ahead and update the save and... What? The launch... This thing's way too heavy. Darn it. Why does everything have to be so difficult? I know it's because it's early in the game. Um, I guess what we could do... How, how much weight did we need to lose? It's about 8 tons. What weighs a lot here? That is not very much. Let's check what these weigh. So they're 8 each versus... It's not going to get us the lift we need with these crappy little things, though. How much does that affect my Delta V? I gotta imagine horrifically badly. This is not even stuck to that decoupler. That would be unfortunate. Well, you know what? We could probably get... Why is it so off? There, I guess that's kind of right. Uh, what do we got now for... There's something down here that tells me the weight, right? We're just underweight now. There is no way. This thing's not going to get much done. But we're going to do it anyway. Can I put parachutes on this or will this put us overweight? So that these babies firing off with... My staging is all kinds of messed up now. So this should be stage one or whatever you want to think of it as. Do some of that. All right, that looks more correct, so let's go ahead and update the save again. Oh, we need to lose 0.31 tons. I would like to recover those. If I put the other cockpit on here, it would weigh less, but... It would not actually complete everything I want to complete. So what we're going to do is just assume everything will be fine. <laughs> and do it this way. Let's go ahead and adjust this down like that. I wonder if those things, do those weigh anything? Yeah, they don't really weigh anything, but go ahead and save it. I don't believe our staging really, really. Okay, well, let's go ahead. That's a magnetometer. See if we got. No, there's nothing interesting that I can remove in there. Where's the. That's the goo. You know what? Let's just pull the goo. How much does the goo weigh? This is ridiculous. Mystery goo container. That weighs almost nothing. That's not gonna help. Mmm. -hmm. Alright, fine. We'll just explode those. I don't care. I want to upgrade my launch pad as soon as possible. That is ridiculous. It's difficult to get much work done around these parts. Alright, so throttle all the way up to start because I don't know how much thrust we're actually going to get out of this bad boy. SAS on. Get our orbit information up. Flight recorder, what does that do? Oh, it just shows us what happened. And, okay, let's do this. 
Fingers crossed. Throttle down for sure. Throttle off on the uh, liquid fuel, I think. Just trying to get up here into the... I didn't bother to... Uh... Oh, we're losing it. We're losing it. We're losing it. Should not have tried to turn at all. Alright, we're going up. Straight up. That's about all we're going to try to do here. I have a lot of stability issues. I couldn't have afforded to put... I could not have afforded to, uh, weight-wise, to put fins on this thing. Probably the way that things were. Alright, we're just going to get as much altitude as we can actually manage on this flight again. This is insane. This is truly insane. Please stabilize. Why won't you stabilize, you piece of crap? <sighs> well, at least we'll have completed a mission. Hopefully we get some money and get some better missions out of this. This is just unpleasant. I do not like the weight restrictions. My nothing works correctly. Sounds like our uh, boosters made it back down. All right. Well, we'll just flail around randomly. I really don't care. Let's go ahead and get crew reports. Probably great. This is awesome stuff going on here. I brought a magnetometer because I was gonna try to. Uh, gather some science. Oh, we can fly this way. That's interesting. Whoa! Okay. This is fascinating. Jeez, man. It's got crazy shenanigans going on. I think that thing only works once we get out of the atmosphere. Let's go ahead and we're going to hopefully be recovering that. Can I open this door, please? Might as well do that just because we don't know if we're going to get any better science out of this. We might get into the upper atmosphere at the very least. This, this thing was just unpleasant. Need better parts, man. Go ahead and deploy our antenna here real quick. Why is the antenna locked? Really? Antenna? I put a thermometer in here too, didn't I? Let's go ahead and lock that. Can I actually transmit it? Why are there... Well, we'll log the temperature. Keep the data. Can we do a crew report here? No, we already done it. All right, well, I guess that's about that for this. That was insane. Let's see if we can get this thing down in one piece. This cockpit is meant for an aircraft, obviously, but I wanted to try to use it just to get that mission done. And uh, I don't know if it does it have less torque or something. It seems ridiculous. It seemed utterly ridiculous. That was the most unstable thing I've flown in a while. Um, hopefully we didn't blow anything up at the Space Center either. <laughs> uh, let's get rid of that. Goodbye. Is Jeb flying? Yeah, we got Jeb flying. What's, what's it like? No, not view. Oh my god. Nope, no, no, there we go. Nope, there we go. The view's all right in here. All right, well, I'll be, I'm going to go back to the drawing board. Unless something spectacularly horrible happens here, uh, I'll be back in a couple minutes. At least we'll have completed this part of getting the uh, Mark I cockpit done so we can probably just throw a regular uh, command pod on and see if that's any better need to figure out a way to get some I mean that'll save some weight maybe when we get some fins on it 
So that was not a completely successful mission, obviously, there. I don't even know. I should check if we even completed that mission. It looks like... Curve and flying, test run option. The form test used the run test option from the parts context mission. What? Uh, I didn't press a button I needed to press. Are you kidding me? That means I'm going to launch that again? Err. Well, that's good to know, I guess. Let's go get it done. Maybe add some fins, see if we can do that. All right, time for another test drive. I put a couple of uh, fins on it. I doubt it will help, but giddy up. Let's actually throttle down completely. Not gonna touch anything. We're not steering. We're gonna try to get as high as possible here. Things go insane if I try to steer, so you know what? I'm gonna steer. Speed seems a little, little bit more reasonable this time. Still a little on the crazy side. All right. Oh, there we go, losing it. Is it because I didn't thrust? It might be because I didn't thrust enough. But we were going so fast. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Oh dear God. Run test. Where's the test? All right. Well, that's done at least. Good gravy. God, this is just insane. I'm, I think if I had left the thrust up higher... This is not a gimbling rocket. That's part of the problem. I thought I had the gimbling one on. Well, that explains part of the problem. Probably should replace that. But we're not going to be flying this thing again anyway. I am glad we got that mission done because at least we'll get some money and we can unlock this cockpit which I won't be using anytime soon anyway in fact it's probably best if we just accept our fate and go down here so be down in a little bit alright well the vessel's been recovered the mission's been completed so let's see what missions are actually available now if there's anything better 46 science. Oh, we actually still picked up 8 science. It's not the worst. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's take a look at good old mission control here. See what we got going here. So we have no active contracts right now. Ferry the Taurus safely to their destination. What is this? Travel itinerary. Suborbital. I don't have a way of putting three people on one ship how much money do I gain from that 21 that's not too terrible for the prestige so I get one for each one we'll do that because we can just launch a pretty simple ship to get into suborbital we have four years to do that this seems worthwhile this is more stupid tourist stuff these ones just want to do suborbital space flights too all heat shield into flight above Kerbin. Orbit Kerbin, that one's still a ways away. Stack decoupler. I think I've been using that stack decoupler, right? I've definitely been using that radial decoupler. Orbit. Suborbital traje sub trajectory seems more reasonable here. Alright, so let's see. What can we do immediately here? I mean, I guess I could launch another one of these things, but maybe I'll put the regular command pod on it and see how if it fares any better that way. Maybe, I don't know. Alright, so I have cobbled together a monstrosity of a ship. We're going to try to transport one of our tourists up here. Let's give this one to Valentina, and you get to go there. Now, it's just a, basically a solid rocket booster with a stage of liquid fuel. There's nothing much going on up here except a couple of these attached to one of those universal storage things. I hope the connection's strong enough. There's individual parachutes on each of the capsules in case everything gets sheared apart. It should still, nobody should die. So, um, we should be good to go. Command, 
I need to put something that's facing the right way on this. I forgot about that. It's telling me that they're facing the wrong way. Hmm. You know what? That kind of matters, but it kind of doesn't matter. Why is this one not attached? Like, why can I see through that one? What is going on here? Is it just warning me about the... Why is it... It let me put the tourist on. I'm assuming that's just a graphical glitch? It definitely seems to actually be there. Well, we're gonna just try. I know that this is probably stupid to do this with a sideways cockpit on here. I don't have anywhere to control it from like a docking port or something like that instead. But we're kind of just trying to go straight up and then we'll fiddle around with maneuvering a little bit. But hopefully the SAS will function. There's no sense in having the throttle on here at all. It looks like all of our staging is correct. Fingers crossed. I turned down the thrust on this to like 70% I think to try to not go so ridiculously supersonic right away at least. And uh... I don't know which direction is which here. I would like to try to tilt over a little bit. I guess that would be maybe that way versus that way. Try to tilt over towards the ocean so we can splash down at least. I think the uh, SAS is kind of kind of strong here. The SAS is strong with this one. Get my thrust up a little bit here so when we actually hit that. Alright, this seems like uh, it's a lot more stable. We're doing a little better in that we... Uh... I don't have my orbital information up. These guys might get a little more of a ride than they were bargaining for here. Whoa! <laughs> Again, the weight, the weight imbalance is kind of a problem here. You are just going to... Look at that go. Okay, let's see if it can settle down at some way. Oh. Okay. I gotta remember that my directions don't mean anything. Just try to go that way. Up. This isn't gonna be much of a. I mean, it is suborbital. It's about as suborbital as a flight gets. Seems like it should be good enough for you. Yeah, we're gaining some gaining altitude again. We're gonna get into the upper atmosphere at least it looks like. This is the messed up flight profile we have with this, but I just need to get money and stuff. I got it. I'm gonna have to just bite the bullet and walk around collecting science in ways that I don't want to. But we, at least this thing seems like it's gonna succeed. I just gotta remember. I think I need to hit the thrust all the way up, and also I kind of could. I could put a probe core on the top and control from there, but I want to have the extra parachute. We'll see how the parachutes fare, I suppose. Probably gonna hit like 23 ish kilometers, maybe even a little bit more. Maybe 25? Oh, we're going still. We're gonna be in the very upper part of the atmosphere. I know it goes to like 69, but we'll be, you know, up in the thin part at least here. Let's take a look at the old map. What is our insane trajectory here? That's suborbital. Doesn't quite get into space though. I don't. It doesn't say if they need to get into space, so I'm not real sure. Like, would an airplane ride have been good enough for these people? It's hard to say. It's hard to say. Probably should have put a parachute on that so that it would get recovered. All right, so we're just gonna fast forward here. Wait till we get into the thicker part of the atmosphere. Turn off the SAS. Let it just... Okay, at least it's falling in the way that I kind of want... Well, no. 
it's falling in a sort of crazy way, but let's get those shoots deployed so it will arrest our insanity. Yeah, it probably doesn't even need that middle shoot. We probably could put a probe core on the top and control it from that. Make it a little easier to pilot. I believe I may do that. We'll see how hard we hit the water with the parachutes we do have. Alright, when we get down to about 800 or so, I'll hit the, uh, well actually the parachutes are going to open, I don't want to be time warping when they fully deploy. Yeah, that really slowed us down. Let's see what happens if I cut this shoot. Yeah, we're still in good shape. So I'll just get rid of that other shoot and call it good. Let's see if we get credit for this. Come on, it takes so long. A lot of waiting in Corporal Space Program. I'm glad they scaled everything down so you don't have to wait as much as you do in real life with space travel. But still, a lot of waiting. Can we get a crew report of any value? Oh, they don't count as being manned, because that actually makes sense. And... Alright, so we're down. And when I recover the vessel... What does it have? It crashed my game! Great! All right, so we've gone back to the drawing board. I converted this to liquid fuel so we have a little more control. Added a couple of boosters. We are at our part limit here and almost at our weight limit. I added this, uh, so hopefully we'll be able to control from there, make it a little bit less confusing. Let's go ahead and, yeah, Jebediah, you're fine. We'll take the same tourist again and go launch this bad boy. So, well, evidently, I did recover that at the other pod after I reloaded the game, and we had not gone high enough. So, control from here, lock off, thrust down to like a quarter, and fingers crossed this time things will go a little bit better. I want to close, well, I'll leave the contract thing open so I can see if it ever turns green. Orbit info. And we have, which one? We have the middle one there on board. So, I did not want that to actually do that, but I have to fix that staging before we try launching this thing again. Throttle down now. We want to be accelerating here still. It's not at ludicrous speed. So far, we seem to have a lot more control. The Space Taurus is getting a little extra more than they bargained for again, I suppose. Like, you know, they got the cra crazy twisty turny thing happening, but they're getting a second trip for free, probably, because <laughs> they didn't pay us for the other one, so. start doing our gravity turn here we do want to do like kind of a professional flight here because we've been having some serious flight issues our speed is good we're not getting any supersonic effects or anything that are going to cause aerodynamic issues altitude is climbing but not climbing as quickly as i would like but we're getting in a thinner part of the atmosphere so we should start kind of really picking up some speed now I think we're going to be good because we still have another stage here. Awesome sauce. Get over to like 45 degrees or so. This thing has no uh, real instruments on board because it doesn't have the weight to support them. I want to be a little gentle there. Like we were at our weight limit and our part limit so I couldn't put any scientific instruments on board. This is really just about getting this flight done we have an orbital flight now it says I'm hoping we can keep our profile kind of low so that I really just want to get out of the atmosphere dip back in 
I don't want to have crazy reheating because of the way that this thing is actually uh, designed. We have a decent amount of thrust. This thing probably could make it almost into orbit. Maybe we will go a little bit higher than I was planning originally. Time to... Apoapsis is fine. It's falling, but we're still a long way away. This is a... This is a simple modification. Restaging and adding this thing helped a lot too, I think. But, uh... A lot better condition here. Just have to get these guys down safely. Though, I don't think the probe core weighs all that much, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue in terms of, uh... Parachute problems or anything like that, I don't think. Of course, because of the time of the day that we launched, we're going to be coming down in the dark, which is not ideal. That's going to be a pretty good suborbital flight, actually. So I'll probably just do the other ones off-screen if this mission's successful, because it's going to be just doing this exact same thing a couple more times. But, uh... How much fuel time do we still have? We still have a decent amount here. Oh, there goes our music. We're in space! We're in space! Awesome! This is the most, like, correct flight we have done yet. Let's, let's uh, kind of angle down at the horizon here a little bit closer. Oh god, we're gonna end up in orbit here if we're not careful. We ran out of fuel. Okay. Cool. So I guess we'll just enjoy the ride. Probably want to turn off the SAS just so we don't run out of electricity. Although these command pods have pretty big batteries on them, so I'm sure that that probably wouldn't be too much of an actual concern to have, but... Alright, coming in. And I always get nervous about staging, but everything looks right, so ditch that and whoa ho, ho. I'm not really sure which way I want to be facing here I, I, I know I want to be facing this way actually because I don't want the parachutes burning off like the side of the um, pod can, can we actually hold it side I wonder if we could hold it like normal or anti-normal once we're actually in the atmosphere so the heat shield would actually be I mean, we do have a decent amount of SAS force with all this stuff. I don't... I guess I could remove the antenna and add another decoupler and just ditch the probe for a different version, too, so that it would be a little bit more stable. But it probably want to come down, like, right in this direction. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see if we can hold this once the actual atmosphere kicks in. I don't care if the probe body burns up. Mainly, the, well, obviously the command pods would be bad, but mainly the uh, parachutes really just need to not burn up. I mean, we are coming in at fairly ridiculous speeds, gaining fairly ridiculous speeds, so heat shielding, maybe adding a heat shield on the bottom there might be a good idea. Pop this antenna off so I get an extra part. So I think I can still control from there even if we don't have radio contact because we have the, uh... Oh god, this is nerve-wracking. Whoa! She's holding the heat shield. Hold together, baby! I'm gonna get some serious slowing down coming up. I would like to control from here, I think. So I can actually be facing the correct direction here. This isn't too much of a problem at all. It's... Oh, what is what is getting overheated? I see a heat warning. Um... Is that my parachute or the pod? Oh, we're turning out of the... <clears throat> Hold together! Uh, really, uh... 
getting some tug with the atmosphere now, but I, we're just celery. We made it. We'll be safe. The heating effects are going to stop pretty soon. I said the heating effects are going to stop pretty soon. I think they stop around 900 meters per second. I think, think so, some things have been revamped, so I don't know if that's actually necessarily true. Because I used to use deadly reentry, and that's not necessarily true at all for this. No! Why did I do that? Um, sorry, tourist. We're gonna lose a space tourist. Oops. Does it say they have to? Yeah, it doesn't say they have to land necessarily, does it? <laughs> it just says suborbital flight. Mm. Got to rethink this parachute situation. I think maybe. Some redesign is necessary. I think if I put a heat shield here, it might work out, possibly. How long does it take these things? It has spare chutes? Oh, but somebody has to get out and actually do it. There's no way. There's no way. Because I don't have an engineer anyway. I think you need an engineer for that stuff. Darn it! Well, those parachutes obviously didn't work anyway. No, I want to live. Land on the... That part... Oh... No parts arrived. Well, we have lost one of our astronauts. That's depressing. Why can I not end the flight? There we go. Whoopsies.